The information in this article is strictly for educational and awareness purposes. Our goal is to expose the tactics used by malicious actors so you can better protect yourself. A SIM card may look insignificant, just a small piece of plastic with a tiny chip embedded in it, but it's the heart of your mobile identity, acting as the bridge between you and the vast world of mobile communication. SIM stands for Subscriber Identity Module, a crucial component that authenticates you to your carrier's network, ensuring that your phone number is recognized and connected. Without it, your phone can't make calls, send texts, or use cellular data, rendering it almost useless for communication. Each SIM contains a unique IMSI or International Mobile Subscriber Identity and a secret authentication key, known as the CHI. When you connect, your SIM and the network perform a secret handshake to verify your identity, a process that happens in the blink of an eye. This process is crucial for your mobile security, ensuring that your communications are private and secure. The SIM also stores small amounts of data, like contacts or texts, acting as a mini storage device, though most info now lives in the cloud, making it easier to access and manage across multiple devices. Because it holds your credentials, the SIM is a prime target for criminals who seek to exploit your personal information. If someone controls your SIM, they can intercept calls, texts, and hijack accounts linked to your number, causing potential havoc in your digital life. This includes bank, email, and social media accounts that use your number for authentication, making it vital to protect your SIM. That tiny chip holds more power than most people realize, serving as the gateway to your digital identity and personal data. SIM cloning is a sophisticated cybercrime technique where a hacker creates an exact copy of your SIM card, allowing them to impersonate you on your mobile network. This process is not just about duplicating a piece of plastic, it's about stealing your digital identity. By extracting two critical pieces of information from your SIM, the IMSI, which is your international mobile subscriber identity, and the secret authentication key known as CHI, hackers can manufacture a twin SIM card. This cloned SIM can then be inserted into another device, which will act as if it's your phone, giving the attacker access to your calls, texts, and even your mobile data. The mobile network is unable to distinguish between the original and the clone, so all your communications can be secretly intercepted. This means that sensitive information, like two-factor authentication codes or private conversations, can fall into the wrong hands without you ever knowing. Early SIM cards, especially those from the 1990s and early 2000s, were particularly vulnerable due to weak encryption standards. Back then, SIM cloning was easier and more widespread, but even today, some outdated cards remain at risk. To pull off this attack, hackers use specialized card readers and software tools to extract the necessary data from your SIM. Once they have the information, they program it onto a blank SIM card, effectively creating a duplicate that can be used in any compatible phone. Usually only one SIM with your credentials can be active at a time. When the attacker activates the cloned SIM, your phone may suddenly lose service, displaying a no service message. This often happens when you're not using your phone, so you might not notice right away. By the time you realize something is wrong, perhaps when you can't access your banking app or receive important messages, the attacker may have already compromised your accounts, changed your passwords, or stolen sensitive data. SIM cloning is a stealthy, rapid, and highly damaging attack. It can happen in minutes, and the consequences can be devastating, ranging from financial loss to identity theft. That's why it's crucial to understand how SIM cloning works, recognize the warning signs, and take steps to protect yourself from this invisible threat. SIM swapping is a social engineering attack, not a technical one. The attacker gathers personal info about you, often from data breaches or social media. Posing as you, they contact your carrier and convince them to transfer your number to a new SIM. Your phone loses service. The attacker's device now receives your calls and texts. They intercept SMS codes for two-factor authentication, reset your passwords, and take over your accounts. The process is quick and often goes unnoticed until damage is done. SIM swapping is alarmingly common because it exploits human error 
not technology. The consequences can be immediate and severe. Awareness is your first line of defense. Physical sim cloning is a hands-on attack that requires the attacker to have temporary physical access to your sim card. This could happen if you leave your phone unattended, hand it over for repairs, or even during a brief moment when your device is out of your sight. Attackers use specialized SIM card readers and software tools to connect your SIM to a computer. With these tools they can extract critical information stored on the SIM, such as the IMSI, your unique subscriber identity, and the secret authentication key, known as the CHI. Older SIM cards, especially those from early mobile phones, are particularly vulnerable. Their outdated security makes them susceptible to brute force attacks, allowing hackers to uncover the key in just a few minutes, sometimes even seconds. After copying the necessary data, the attacker carefully returns the SIM card to your phone. The process is so quick and subtle that most victims never notice anything unusual and their phone continues to function as normal. Using the stolen IMSI and Kai, the attacker programs a blank SIM card, effectively creating a perfect clone of your original. This cloned SIM can now connect to the network and impersonate your device. While your phone keeps working as usual, the attacker can use the cloned SIM strategically, often late at night, or when you're unlikely to notice suspicious activity. This allows them to intercept calls, texts, and even two-factor authentication codes. This method is both stealthy and highly effective, especially if your phone is left unattended in public places or entrusted to an untrustworthy repair technician. Even a few minutes of access is enough for a skilled attacker to complete the cloning process. Even brief, unsupervised access, just a matter of minutes, can be all it takes for a determined attacker to compromise your SIM. While physical SIM cloning is less common than remote attacks like SIM swapping, it remains a real and dangerous threat, especially for high-value targets or those with outdated SIM technology. To protect yourself, treat your SIM card as you would any sensitive credential, keep it secure, avoid leaving your phone unattended, and be cautious about who handles your device. SIM cloning and swapping threaten more than just your phone service. Your phone number is often the key to your digital life, email, bank, and social accounts. Once compromised, attackers can reset passwords, drain accounts, and access sensitive communications. They can impersonate you, scam your contacts, and invade your privacy. The emotional and financial fallout can last for months. Reclaiming your identity is a long, stressful process. Criminals may use your identity for further fraud, compounding the damage. The security of your SIM is directly tied to your personal and financial well-being. Don't underestimate the risks. Protecting yourself starts with your mobile carrier account. Set a unique PIN or password with your provider to block unauthorized changes. Ask for advanced security features like port freezes or number locks. Don't rely on SMS for two-factor authentication. Use an authenticator app instead. App-based 2FA codes can't be intercepted by SIM swappers. For maximum security, consider a physical security key like a YubiKey. These require physical possession to log in, making remote attacks nearly impossible. Not all services support security keys, but use them where you can. Layer your defenses. Don't depend on just one method. Small steps make a big difference. Take action now to strengthen your defenses. Change security question answers to random, unguessable phrases. Use a password manager to store them. Limit personal info on social media. Attackers piece together details from your digital footprint. Enable a SIM pin lock on your phone. This blocks thieves from using your SIM in another device. Change the default SIM pin to something unique. Watch for phishing attempts. Never click suspicious links or share personal info via unsolicited messages. If you get a strange notification, verify directly with the company's official site or app. Stay skeptical of unexpected requests for your data. A few proactive habits can stop most attacks before they start. Your vigilance is your best defense. Technology helps, but your awareness is your strongest shield. Know the signs of SIM attacks. Sudden loss of service is a major red flag. If it happens, 
contact your carrier immediately from another device. Watch for unexpected password reset emails or security code requests. Regularly review your account security settings and update passwords. Use a password manager for unique, strong passwords everywhere. Talk to friends and family about these risks. Security is a shared responsibility. The more people are aware, the less effective these scams become. Your vigilance protects not just you, but the whole community. Stay alert, stay skeptical, and stay safe.